Hey, hey, Cancers, this is your horoscope of the week of the 13th of November through the 19th. All right, so you are in a place where you might be finding yourself where things don't, you might feel like you're struggling and things are becoming issues and doing the right thing you might be struggling with. Well, you have to do what's right. Even though you may be struggling with it within yourself, you have to do what's right. If not, this is going to, this will pull you down. And I feel like you need to center yourself. This is a time for um, all cancers right now to center themselves. There's a lot of energies out there right now. There's a lot of emotional energies out there right now. And this energy is not doing you well. You're finding yourself breaking down, finding yourself like the ideas that you have could be right, but you're not pushing those forward. Um, the intentions that you are trying to have for everyone around you are to, to help them and stand by them, but you need to be able to stand by yourself. You need to be able to play a more major role within yourself. You need to be able to stand your ground. There's nothing wrong with boundaries. You should have boundaries. Right now, you're allowing people to kind of take advantage of your situation and it take because you are feeling vulnerable at this point. Do not allow people to take advantage of your vulnerability. You know, kindness is not a vulnerable place, but if you let it become one, it does. So stand strong on what your beliefs are. Truly believe in yourself so you can be able to move forward. Do not let people take advantage of you because it is going to happen this week if you let it. Please don't let that happen. You're aware of it now. So try to stay strong. Find a way to help others without jeopardizing yourself. Don't do things that don't do well for you. Let's take a look, look at work. When it comes to the work situation, let me tell you right now, Cancers, it is okay to communicate with higher ups. And if you are someone who owns their own business, talk to a, a friend, a mentor, a teacher, someone to that nature, but allow yourself to be able to communicate with somebody that may understand exactly what it is that you're going through, especially with this when this involves a group of people. If you're working for yourself and you have some employees that you need to communicate things with, you need to do so. But allow yourself to do it in a positive way and find ways to make things happen. Be more organized and do it within the rules. That's going to benefit you the best. If you are looking, if you're working for somebody, and you're trying to go through this, allow yourself to be to be open to the things uh, that are coming, but also allow yourself not to be taken advantage of. So let's say maybe your work, your management team is maybe taking a little bit more. It's okay to say no and explain why if you need to, but there shouldn't be there shouldn't be a need to express why you're not going to do things when they know they're taking advantage of the situation. So do it positively, but stand your grounds. Okay, and if you are out there looking for work, make sure you are finding something that you can you can stick with or that you can get behind. If it doesn't feel right, don't do it. All right, let's take a look at love. All right, love is in the air. And I'm going to tell you right now, if you're in a relationship, things should be going well. You know, pretty traditional in the pretty in a traditional way. The energy is feeling pretty good. You're conducting yourself the way that you should. Things seem to be great in a relationship. Now, looking for one, follow your instinct. Do not allow yourself to be taken in by what the other person wants and you don't put yourself in the equation. You're going to, I know you want to share love, you want to have love, but make sure both of you feel and are both being heard. Do not just do it as a one-way deal because the relationship will crumble and you will find yourself in a very hurt position. All right, Cancers, let's go ahead and take a look at money. Okay, Cancers, when it comes to money, let me tell you right now, it's a place and a time for you to kind of, you know, play by the rules. Don't overspend. Don't overdo it. I know the holidays around the corner and we feel like we want to we want to do that right now. It's not the time for you to do that. Right now is the time for you to hold on to things and wait for 
for that good energy. You will feel the difference in the time where it is. You can already feel the energy that's happening, that money's a little bit tight, a little tighter than you want it to be. Give it some time. It is going to free up, and then you're going to be able to, you know, spend a little bit. But right now, play by the rules. Don't overspend. You got this. Hang in there, Cancers, just for a couple weeks. All right, let's check out spirituality. All right, when it comes to the spiritual side of things, let me tell you guys, um, right now, if you, even if you're not open to anything and you don't have any traditional religious beliefs, uh, make some time to check out some of these traditions that people do. Um, see if anything connects with you. Allow yourself to be open and expand your mind to different spiritual beliefs. Don't allow yourself to be stuck. Because that is what's happened. Don't allow yourself to be stuck. Don't forget about family traditions and things like that. And bring those back into your, your own home. And that way you have a different type of practice. You may be able to do something that your family's done, but in your own way. So be open to it. Allow yourself to be in touch with your spiritual self. You'll find yourself with growth if you do it that way. And cancers, hang in there. Weeks are going to get better. And I will see you guys all again next week for more information for cancer.